HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new season of Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Baseball on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Larry Sacklad for the first game of the season for the Hopkinton Hillers. And this afternoon they are at the brand new turf field and set to go. Brendan Kelly on the mound for the Hillers as Matt Arvinitis set to step in for the Holliston Panthers. First game of the season for both these teams. And we are just about set to get underway. We'll take you through the Hiller's Diamond in just a moment as we are ready for the first pitch. The wind up and the pitch. That's hit high in the air over to right field. And ranging over to make the catch is the second baseman, Steven Simos, one away. Sam Farrell will come up to the plate for the Hulls and Panthers. Yeah, that's pretty efficient. One pitch, one out. It certainly is. Nice way to start for the Hillers. The big guy, Brendan Kelly, off to Stonehill to be a Skyhawk. And Kelly is set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch. That is low for ball, 1-0. Brendan, Brendan, a fastball slider. Two-seam fastball, four-seam fastball. Kelly set to deliver. And this is up the middle, slow roller picked up and bobbled by the third baseman. And Farrell's going to be safe on the error. So one out, one on for Holliston. Let's take a look at the Hiller's diamond. Brendan Kelly is the pitcher. Completing the battery is Ronnie Sheamus. Alex Barker Hook is at first base. Steven Simos at second base. Ben McKenzie at shortstop. Ryan Kester at third base. From left to right, Drew Rancatori. Tommy Ambrosoni and Connor Kelly. And there's a strike there. Oh, and one to John Pesson, a familiar face from the Ashland Legion baseball program. We'll take you through this Halston batting order as well when we get a moment. Brendan Kelly working from the stretch. Check swing, did he go? The umpire says no. One and one. Let's take a look at the Holliston lineup. Matt Arvinitis started off the afternoon with a flyout. Sam Farrell reached on an error. He was batting second. Now it's John Pesson at the plate, third in the batting order. Sean Jewett is hitting cleanup. Dylan Ibbotson batting fifth. Matt Tomaselli batting sixth, checking at first, runner back safe. Owen Radcliffe hitting seventh. Ben Fink hitting eighth. And Kevin Balowitz hitting ninth for the Holliston Panthers. Brendan's going to be successful today. It's going to be with his two-seam fastball running on the hands of the hitter. There's a foul ball out play. And, Larry, you mentioned that uh, Coach Simo is certainly excited about this year's team. He is. He's got four sophomores, which is one more than when Stevie Simos, Ben McKenzie, and Brendan Kelly came up three years ago. From the stretch... Runner taking off from first, and that pitch is in there for a strike, but there was a stolen base by Farrell. Two outs in the inning, runner on second. Coach Simos is really high on Ronnie Sheamus behind the plate. He's got actually three catches. He's got an abundance of uh, backstops this year. We'll bring up Sean Jewett. So one on, two outs. Brennan Kelly pitching in the first ever game for Hillers baseball on the new turf fields. Certainly a beautiful afternoon to open up the season. When the clouds don't go go over, it's, it's nice. There's a hit batsman. And there is a hit batter there. That'll put two on. Dylan Ibbotson, the right fielder, will come up. Two outs, two on for the Holliston Panthers. 
Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. First game of the year for both of these teams. Both runners with a slight lead. And that pitch in there for a strike. That's a nice breaker. Oh, and one on Ibbotson, the right fielder. Taking a look at the temperature today, it reads at 45 degrees, a slight wind, but the sun is out. Wind up and the pitch. Swinging strike. Went back to back with his breaking pitches. Seems oh, a repeat of last year. Will he give him the trifecta, Tom? We shall see. Set to deliver. And that one just low. With the turf fields, you're going to get a true hop. Anything in around the catcher's area, I'm not going to have to worry about gopher holes. The one two pitch. Sliced foul. Hiller's softball also in action on the other side of the turf field. We'll be bringing you a whole lot more spring sports this season due to this fine facility. Kick things off over in Holliston with a boys girls lacrosse doubleheader. The Hillers got the victory in both games over at Holliston High School. Wind up and the pitch from Kelly. Swing and a miss, and that'll wrap up the first. Despite two runners reaching for Holliston, we head to the bottom of the first with a scoreless game. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Baseball on HCAM. Welcome back to the turf fields here at Hopkinton High School. We are just about ready for the bottom of the first, but let's start things off by looking at the Hillers opening day lineup. Leading things off is the shortstop, Ben McKenzie, batting second, the second baseman, Steven Simos. Tommy Ambrosoni, the center fielder, will hit third. Ronnie Sheamus, the catcher, will hit cleanup. Drew Rancatori, the left fielder, will hit fifth. Alex Barker-Hook, the first baseman, will hit sixth. Connor Kelly, the right fielder, will hit seventh. Batting eighth is the third baseman, Ryan Kester. And hitting ninth is the designated hitter, Jack Breslin. As Ben McKenzie set to step in for the Hillers, we'll get you the Holliston Diamond. And uh, Larry, why don't you tell us about the Holliston Diamond? Third base is Ben Fink, a Ashley and Post 77 player. Matt Avantis at short. John Pesson, familiar face at second base. Owen Radcliffe at first. Left to right, Kevin Balowitz. Sam Farrell. Dylan Ibbotson. Owen Ward on the mound, Sean Jewett receiving today. And we are ready for the first Hillers hitter of the season as Ben McKenzie takes one inside, 1-0. and oh. Can we get a friendly wager in here when our next hitter gets up? Perhaps. All right. Line up and the pitch. This is hit high in the air over towards shallow right field. Ranging over and making a nice catch is the second baseman for the out. John Pesson able to range to his left and made the catch as he fell to the ground. Well, let's have the wager now. Stevie Simos got hit 14 times last year, most in the Commonwealth. Will he get hit in this game? It's very possible. That's sliced foul into the backstop. O and one. I'll say he gets hit at least once. All right. Well, Owen Ward, he's he's a control pitcher. He's got a fastball and a curveball last summer. Not overpowering speed though. Set to deliver. That one is low. One and one. Stevie, of course, is blessed with tremendous power to the gap. Wind up and the pitch. 
This is hit high in the air over towards the left side, and it is caught by the shortstop two away. Man Orvinitis able to make the catch high into the air. Two outs, Tommy Ambersoni comes to the plate. As is custom for Coach Simos, he wants every, every player to win their battle, compete. He realizes this is the first game of the year, a long season, so get the speedy Ambersoni up. Swinging strike. Last year, Tommy Ambersoni hit a 262, played in 21 games. Drove in nine runs and scored nine. Probably the best punter in the TVL. And he'll slice this one foul. Just over us, 0-2. And that hit him. One on, two outs. I'll bring up Ronnie Sheamus, the catcher. Hey, Tommy will test a ward, see what kind of a pickoff move he has. Coach Simos wants to do a lot of running this year. Nan Personi is one of your fastest guys. Runner leading off of first. That one just a little bit high, 1-0. and oh. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss. Cole Glassburn warming up at the bullpen. He'll be next. You think it's going to be a short stay for Brennan Kelly on the mound today? Well, early in the year, Coach Simos likes to stretch the guys out slowly. Maybe 30, 40 pitches. Then he'll bring in somebody else. He'll go with three pitches today, I reckon. One and two count. From the stretch is Owen Ward. That was an awful long look by Ward. And that's fouled into the backstop. Runner will return to first base. Tommy Ambersoni had that base stolen. Set to deliver from the stretch. That one just low, two and two. Nice eye by Seamus. New face down at third base, Brent McKenzie. Coaching third this year. Tommy Ambersoni returning to first. I wonder if there's a mix-up between Ward and Jewett. Should know each other pretty well. And this is fouled away. Count remains two and two. Ward set to deliver. Runner leading off of first. Hit high in the air and out of play. Ronnie Sheamus was not on the roster last year for the Hillers.
He's a sophomore. And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop, flip to second, and they get the out. A 6-4 to four force out to wrap up the first after one inning of play. Holliston nothing, Hopkinton nothing. You're tuned in to Hiller's Baseball on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizza. Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. We are ready for the top of the second inning. Due up for Holliston is 6, 7, and 8. Matt Tomaselli, the DH, showing Radcliffe, the first baseman, and Ben Fink, the third baseman. Brendan Kelly out there for another inning of work for the Hillers. A scoreless game here in game number one of the season. Line up and the pitch. And that is just outside, 1-0. and Brendan retired the last hitter, on, all on breaking pitches. So when that thing's working, he is really tough. Swinging and a miss. Set to deliver. Just outside, two oh, and one. I didn't one. like that call, I didn't like it. Brendan's gonna be going to Stonehill, play baseball, Cole Glassburn, Catholic University as a Cardinal. And Stevie Simos and Ben McKenzie are gonna be polar bears up at Bowdoin College in Maine. Ah. They'll be eating lobster every night, I got a feeling. The 2-2. Two -two. Upstairs. Matt Tomaselli didn't play too much last year for Holliston. Had seven at bats, did not get a hit. But in the starting fold this year for Holliston. Two and two is the count. Just low, and excuse me, that was a three-two pitch. Tomaselli draws the walk. You don't want to do that with the seven hitter. I'll bring up Owen Radcliffe, the first baseman. Kelly sets a deal. There's a strike, 0-1. Geez, I could go for a hot dog right now. It's good hot dog weather. It certainly is. The 0-1 pitch. There's strike two. There's the Yacker. He's throwing that for strikes today. Owen Radcliffe debuting for the varsity squad for Holliston. Check swing and he went. That is strike three. First base was occupied anyway. I don't know where he was going, but high school baseball. Three pitches for the out. One on, one out. Then Fink, the third baseman, to the plate. That is upstairs, one and oh. Brendan's probably throwing 84 to 86 miles an hour. At least that's what he was clocked at earlier during a uh, scrimmage game against Lemonster around Northboro. Pitch is down low, two and oh. And Fink only played in four games last season. Did not get a hit. Mostly a, used as a pinch runner for Hollison. Pitched a little bit over the summer for post-77. Him, Tomaselli, Pesson, and Ward. That pitch is just low. And the runner takes off from first to second, a stolen base for Tomaselli. Well, now we're gonna give that a pass ball. Stuck at his feet. I'd give that a pass ball. Seamus couldn't find it. Set to deliver. 
And he'll draw the walk. Two on, one out. It'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the center fielder. And there'll be a conversation between Ronnie Sheamus, the catcher, and Brandon Kelly. Let's see what the middle infielders are going to do, keeping uh, the runner close. Last thing you want here is a double steal. Kelly working from the stretch with two on. And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. He'll step on second for one throw to first, and he gets them both. A nice six to three double play there to wrap up the top of the second to the bottom of the inning we go. We're scoreless in Hopkinton on H cam. Bottom of the second inning, five, six, and seven do up for the Hillers as Drew Rancatori steps in and is set to face Owen Ward. Wind up and the pitch. In there for a strike. It's Drew Rancatori, Alex Barker Hook, and Connor Kelly do up this inning. Rancatori, a dead pull hitter. And he'll take a ball there. One and one. It's like the Hillers uh, have a new uniform going on, Larry. They do. Mistaken. They got Nikes. And this is hit in the air over to center field and ranging back to make the catch as Sam Farrell went away. The wind's going to knock any ball hit in the air down. I'll bring up Alex Barker Hook, the first baseman. Captain Hook, we call him. The hyphenated Alex Barker Hook. Hook. A little league phenom. He could really gas it in Little League. Ball one. Alex Barker Hook, one of the new additions to the varsity roster this season. And he will slice that one foul. Not near my car, come on. That was right down to the parking lot. I don't think it hit a car, though. I had my windshield busted a couple of years ago. Hit it flush. The 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. Nice breaking pitch by Ward. Ward set to deal. And this is up the right side and foul. Right off the pesky pole. Is that what we call it over <laughs> there, the pesky pole? Notice the artificial fence in center going over to left field. This is a multi-use field. Yeah, you got baseball and softball going on at the same time. They play field hockey down there? And this is fouled away yeah, well, above watch us. Out, watch out, Tom. Larry, you're going to take over play by play for a moment while I get my score sheet. All right. <laughs> Counts two and two. Barker Hook is caught looking. Halston will throw it around. Two down. Gotta love the wins at these fields. Yep, you gotta hold on to your score sheet, Tom. Just I certainly do. How many times I'm a mess over you. here. I don't know what to say. It's the first game of the year, a little disorganized. I want the hot dog. I want that hot dog. There's Connor Kelly. This is a kid Coach Simos is really high on. He's a can't miss college player, according to the conversation I had with Coach Simos a couple of weeks back. And this is fouled away up the third baseline. Oh, and two. Nice play by Brent McKenzie. Nice play. Ball had a lot of spin on it. Didn't get it clean, though. Wind up and the pitch. 
just outside, one and two. Owen Ward last season went 0 and three on the mound. A 450 ERA for Hollison, nine appearances. And he tips that one away. Count remains one and two. Connor Kelly's is gonna, gonna pitch some innings for uh, Coach Simos. To a power lefty. Playing right field today. And this is hit in the air, fouled just above us. Shortstop giving chase, that's out of play. Really nice when the wind wind dies down, Tom. You know, it certainly is. No runners on, two outs. And this is a fair ball, slow roller picked up by Ward. Throw to first, got him, and he's able to get the out to wrap up the bottom of the second. We will head to the top of the third. We are scoreless between the Hillers and the Panthers on HCAM. Top of the third inning, we are scoreless between the Hollison Panthers and the Hopkinton Hillers. Brennan Kelly out there for another inning of work. Pitched pretty well so far. Hillers have been able to get out of a couple jams. And now stepping into the batter's box for his second time today is the Holliston shortstop, Matt Arvinitis. I had a little lot of Arvinitis over the winner. Pitch down low, one and oh. Matt Arvinitis also a star on the Panthers football team. There's Must a be a running back. Uh, Doesn't look like a lineman to me. I believe he was a running back actually. One and one. Actually, he was a quarterback, too, for a good amount of the season. That pitch up high. Two and one. And we'll get a good piece of this one over to left field. And ranging over and not able to make the catch is Drew Rancatori. Arvinitis is going to be safe with a stand-up double. That was a wind-blown hit. We'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. Got to score that a double. Good piece of hitting by Arvinitis. Dangerous part of the batting order for this Holliston Panthers team. Ryan Kester playing in for the bunt. Pitch inside. Runs may be tough to come by today. And Orvinitis actually making his debut for the varsity team for Holliston this season. Inside there on Farrell, 2 0. Brendan's not afraid to throw his breaking pitch in any count. Checking at second, runner slides back. I don't know whether that play was called from the bench or whether it was Brendan did that on his own. There's a strike, two and one. Well, Brandon Kelly's gotten, gotten out of a couple jams so far today. Can he get out of another one? Runner on, no outs. Inside, three and one on Sam Farrell. Brendan certainly wanted that pitch. Arvinitis is over at second, so do you think Brendan Kelly may be not giving given uh, Sam Farrell much to work with here as he may not be afraid to walk him too much. 
And he gives them something to work with there as that's driven over to left center. And it is caught by Ambrosoni for the out. Ambrosoni had a range all the way back almost to the wall to make that catch. And that'll bring up John Pesson. Matt Arvinitis remains at second. Tommy gets a really good first drop step. That's why he's playing center field. Wind really toyed with that one a little bit. He had a good summer playing with post 59 in Milford. They coach really liked him down there. Light up in the pitch. And this is up the left side. And a great dive by Kessler. He's able to come up with it. Throw to first, gets the out. But the runner at second will advance to third, but there's two away. A beauty of an out. Five to three. Nice base, base running by Arvinitis. Waited for Kester to throw that ball. I'll bring up Sean Jewett, the catcher. He's hitting in the cleanup spot. Certainly a very good athlete. Had a tremendous season for post 77. Well, I don't know whether it's tremendous or not. So oh, especially behind the plays. Yeah, but he defensive. takes a week off to go to Canada. Arvinitis bothering to walk down the line there, trying to get in Brendan Kelly's peripheral vision. The 0 1. And this is foul. 0 and 2. John Jewett hit a 145 last season for the Halston Panthers. Played in 16 games. Scored seven runs, drove in five. But certainly provides some good defensive stability behind the plate. Inside. Brendan really reared back on that one. This is hardest pitch he thrown all game. Line up in the pitch, swing and a miss, and that will wrap up this top half of the third. To the bottom of the third we go. We are scoreless between Hollison and Hopkinton on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Bottom of the third inning, Ryan Kester stepping in. A scoreless game between Hollison and Hopkinton as Ward delivers this is hit in the air foul, 0 and 1. Ryan Kester at third base today. He's a key member of the Hillers boys basketball team. He was. They lost to a very good Wayland team in the postseason. And this is chopped up the right side. That'll drop in for a base hit. And Kester's aboard with a single. Scouting report on Kester, according to Coach Simos, is he hit the ball to right center. That wasn't right center, but it was right field, so. I think Coach Simos knows his players pretty well. Jack Breslin will step in. A.K.A. Jerry, and I don't know why. Kester with a bit of a lead off of first. Bunt pulled back, checking at first, and it gets away, but Kester is going to stay put. Did not take enough of a roll to try to advance there. As a base runner, you always want to keep track of that ball. Runner with a slight lead off of first. And that bunt is foul, 0 in 2. Coach Simos did tell me he's going to play a lot of small ball this year if he can. So 
who's using Jack Breslin here as a DH, has some bunting. Owen Ward very deliberate on the mound. He might not have a good move, so he may be just holding on to the ball a little bit. And there's a bunt there. Slow roller up the third base side. Picked up, throw to first, and they'll get the out. Advancing to second is Kester. One away. So Breslin gets the job done there. Good hustle by Sean Jewett, covering third base. I'll bring up Ben McKenzie, the shortstop. Flew out and is only at bat. One on, one out for the Hillers. Anything hit on the ground by Ben, he's got a chance to beat it out. He's probably got the best speed on the team, him and Ambersoni. That's low for a ball, one and oh. Line up and the pitch. This is up the third base side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, they'll get the out. And Ben Fink uh, had a moment of hesitation to see if he could get Kester, but calmly threw it over to first to get the second out. Kester does advance to third. Steven Simos, the second baseman, will step in. Allison's got some warm-up activity in their bullpen. I can't see the number, but they're going to give Stevie Simos first base. Just have to put up the four fingers. So an intentional walk to Simos. Tommy Ambersoni steps in. But I have a feeling that Stevie will be swiping this bag. He's very aggressive, and he gets a greedy lead. Excellent, excellent base runner. First and third for the Hillers, two outs. Ward delivers. Outside and Simos takes off for the easy steal. Bit of a delay there. Now Tommy Ambersoni last year put laid down a suicide squeeze in the game to win it. He's a really, really good bunner. And he can drag it. Swing and a miss. He lays one down the first base line. Two runs will score. Look at how deep that first baseman's playing. Couldn't get much deeper. And this is up the left side. That's a fair ball picked up by the shortstop and bobbled. A run will score and everybody's safe. One nothing Hillers. A uh, crucial error there by Holliston. Looked like it had a, it was a two hopper to Arvinitis, but he just uh, booted it. So Simos is over at third now, Ambersoni at first. Kester came around to score, now Ronnie Sheamus will step into the batter's box. Uh, he's gonna be hitting cleanup for a reason. So we'll see if Tommy Ambersoni swipes a bag. We haven't seen Ward's move yet. Inside. We call that one a strike? I don't believe so. Set to deliver. And this is hit in the air, up the right side, in foul territory and out of play. One and one. One nothing lead for the Hillers here in the bottom of the third. Ryan Kester comes around to score the first run of the game after an error by Ben Fink over at third base. And
And this is up the left side, and that is a fair ball. And did Fink get a piece of that as well? Simos has come around to score the second Hiller's run. Ben Fink just mistimed his jump on that one. Jumped too early, right over his head. So Sheamus is aboard on the RBI base hit. Now Drew Rancatori will step in. 2-0 lead for the Hillers. Sean Jewett smiling over at his summer teammate, Fink. How many mound visits this year? Unlimited? I believe it's still unlimited, within reason. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the right side, foul. Durankatori flew out last inning. Drew's got decent power. The right fielder uh, might not know it. Playing a little shallow. He's right in the sun too. Pitch down low, and the runner takes off from second, and he's safe at third. The double steal. Double steal there is right. Amber Sony up to third, and Sheamus up to second. Oh, Drew's got a couple of ducks on the pond. Nice timely hit here. We'll score two for sure. Ford takes a long look at third and delivers. This is hit high in the air over to left field and caught for the out, but not before the Hopkinton Hillers plate two runs and they lead it two to nothing as we head to the top of the fourth on each camp. Top of the fourth inning, a two nothing lead for the Hillers. Stepping in for Holliston is the right fielder, Dylan Ibbotson. Kelly set to deliver. Inside, ball one, one and oh. Did you give Fink an error on that uh, last ball? Touched his glove. I did. Good for you. And this is fouled away. Cole Glassburn ran down to the bullpen. This is probably Brendan's last inning. Actually, I don't know. I mean, it touched his glove, but what do you think? Do you think it was an error? Okay. I actually did score it as a hit initially, but might no, have to he, reconsider. He mistimed his jump, but he did get some leather on the ball. So I'm going to give him an E5. One and one. I'm surprised, Larry. Last year, I think you would have given that a hit. Well, that was last year. <laughs> I think as we get towards the middle of the season, you'll reconsider. Yeah, I'll lighten up a little bit. And this is hit in the air, and ranging way back is the shortstop. No one's going to get there. That'll drop. No man's land. And that was a tough play to make, but Ibbotson's aboard, and I'm scoring that one a single. You have to. It was in the Bermuda Triangle. And that'll bring up Matt Tomaselli, the DH. One on, no outs for Holliston. Fouled away. Oh and one. We've seen one pickoff move all day. Brendan used his inside move to keep a runner close at second base, but Ward hasn't thrown over. Brendan hasn't thrown over to first. That pitch down low, runner taking off from first, throw to second is not in time. And Ben McKenzie couldn't make the catch anyway. So a stolen base for Ibbotson. That ball would have been in center field up in field two. If you get the true hop with the turf. Runner in scoring position now for Holliston. No outs. Kelly working from the stretch. Fouled away. Yeah. 
Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call for Hillers Baseball. Bob Hamilton on camera. Beautiful day here at the turf fields to open up the season. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Ooh. I don't know about that. If that Holston coach would get out of my view, I'd certainly appreciate it. And there's a strike. Four and out. One away. Went with the heater on that one, sent that young man back to the bench. And that is the fifth strikeout of the day for Brendan Kelly. Owen Radcliffe will step in. That pitch down low. Nice block by Sheamus. Simos and McKenzie talking to each other at short and second base. That pitch low as well. Two and O. Oh. Brendan must be up to 50 to 60 pitch range right now. Brendan Kelly last season had a 166 ERA, two wins, one loss, 10 appearances on the mound. There's a called strike. He had 10 appearances and he was two and one, I think. That's right. Glad you were listening. Not a lot of run support. Pitched 38 innings overall. That pitch inside and high, three and one. Forty-three strikeouts on the season for Brennan Kelly on the mound. I think the uh, Hopkins and Citizens got their money's worth with this nice multi-use facility. Swing and a strike, full count. A few million dollars. Certainly did. We just saw a truckload of scissor lifts drive by. I wonder if we could borrow one. Well, I think that's some marathon equipment. Full count. You run the marathon this year, Tom? Not this year, maybe, oh. maybe next year. Wind up and the pitch. This is up the middle, off of Kelly. He'll pick it up, throw to first, get the out. But the runner is going to advance to third, so if it's in over to third, but there's two away. That ball was ticketed towards center field. But Brendan made a nice play on that one. Bring up Ben Fink, the catcher. Excuse me, the third baseman. Kelly working from the stretch. Runner on third, two outs. And that gets away from Sheamus briefly, and Ibbotson will think twice about trying to score there. Recovery by Sheamus. And Brendan is just going to rear back and give this kid the gas pipe. Up the left side, that gets through. A Holliston run will score. An RBI single for Ben Fink. Davidson comes around, and the Panthers on the board. It's a two to one ball game. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the center fielder. Well, Fink's not a threat to steal. Brendan's just going to concentrate on this hitter. And one thing about playing down here at the turf fields, extra innings won't be much of a concern this year. You do have the lights available. There's a strike. Runner on first, two outs. A run in for Holliston, a two-to-one game. Big kudos to the athletic director, D. King. Really, really passionate about her sports and her athletes. 
Getting all the fields ready. That pitch just inside, one and one. She's making her way around all the venues today. And yeah, a number of Hiller's games taking place throughout the facilities. That pitch inside, runner taking off from first, throw to second, is just going to be a little bit high. No, they are going to call him out. They're going to say he got the tag down. On the back leg. Steven Simos with a tremendous play there for the third out as they'll catch Ben Fink trying to steal to wrap up the top of the fourth, a two to one Hillers lead as we head to the bottom of the fourth on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Bottom of the fourth inning, a two to one Hillers lead. Stepping in is Alex Parker Hook, the first baseman. Owen Ward set to deal, down low. Spike that one. We'll have to get another look at that last play at second base. Ben Fink was standing there waiting for a replay, although there's no replay in high school ball. The umpire was right there. There's a ground ball over to third base. Fink picks it up, throws over to first, he gets him. Five to three on the out, one away. Connor Kelly will step in. Connor Kelly grounded out in his only plate appearance. The lefty awaits the pitch. And this is up the right side and picked up by the first baseman, a three unassisted for out number two. Well, Owen Ward's making quick work of the Hillers this inning. Ryan Kester will step in. He singled and scored a run last inning. Scored the first run of the game for the Hillers. Let's see if he hits the ball to right center field. Outside, one and oh. Had a blooper the last time up down the right field line. Sliced foul, one and one. Had a healthy rip at that one. Jerry Buzzin on deck. Jerry Breslin, a hoop star this year. Here's strike two. The pitch grabbing the outer corner. Just mixes that one in every once in a while. Down low, two and two. A lot of noise over at the softball field, so hopefully that means good things for the Hillers. Hillers were supposed to open up the season, the softball team initially on Monday. That's filed away, but due to some rain, or a whole lot of rain, I should say, Today is the official opener. They'll make up the game with Dover Sherborne this coming Thursday, April 11th. Two, two. Strike, oh. And there's a ball, full count. A little inside there, says the home plate umpire. I thought he was going to head back to the bench, shaking his head. And he'll get a piece of this one over to left field and caught. A great catch there by Balowitz for the third out of the inning. And we will head to the top half of the fifth. The Hillers leading Hollison 2-1 to one on HCAM. Top half of the fifth inning. Stepping in for Hollison is Kevin Balowitz. Kelly set to deliver, a two to one lead for the Hillers. Cole Glassburn on the mound, he'll come oh. at 
Excuse me. All sorts of angles. That is Cole Glassburn out there. Yeah, he came in. He's going to Catholic University. They have a nice team name, the Cardinals. How apropos. So it was uh, four solid innings for Kelly today. He's got a hose on him. Cole does. Fastball. Occasionally he'll throw a curveball, but he likes to drop down to the side. You never know what you're going to get with him. It's like uh, Forrest Gump out there on the mound. Like that. There's a strike. But he's a legend in his own mind. He told me he was going to throw today. Three and one now. He likes to predict his own performances. I'm going to get three hits today, and he'll go 0 for 3. <laughs> Brandon Kelly, in four innings of work, gave up three hits and one run. There's a strike to fill up the count. He also had five strikeouts. Pretty good outing for Kelly on the mound. And there's a walk there to Balowitz. Glassburn looked in at the umpire, didn't agree. I've never seen Coles move, so we'll see what he does here. We'll bring up Matt Arvinitis. Arvinitis went for two today, doubled in the third inning. And he's going to square to bunt here, and this is a slow roller up the middle, throw to first. They'll get the out, but the lead runner, Belowitz, advances the second. No damage diving head first in the first base with turf. We'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. Farrell's getting the signs from his third base coach. We'll see what the middle infielders are going to do to keep that runner at second base. Keep him close. Base hit would tie the game. Aaron Ball out of the bullpen. A pitch down low, 1 and 0. Oh. That's his first yacker he's thrown so far. Cole Glassburn had a 185 ERA last season, 2 and 0 oh on the mound and four appearances. When he drops down to the side, that right-handed hitter will bail. Pitched 11 and a third of an inning. Struck out 10. Cole likes to play 300-foot long toss on occasion. He's got a very strong arm. Inside there. Almost got some shirt. Glassburn deals. There's a strike. Talked to Cole before the game. He was very confident, or even cocky, I should say. Swing and a miss. I'll fill up the count. Showing off that hose with that fastball. That is fouled away. Count remains full. Runner on second, one out for Holliston. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to left field. And it is caught by the center fielder who waves off uh, Rankatori Tommy Ambersoni making the play for the second out. Staying put at second is Balowitz. Off the bat, that looked like the ball was going to carry, but the wind knocked it down. 
That'll bring up John Pesson, who's 0 for 2 today, the second baseman. Brother Zach is out at UMass Amherst, a post-77 player. Doesn't have a lot of power. Down low, and it briefly got away from Sheamus, but he's able to recover nicely. Quick feet with Sheamus. Glassburn started passing off with a curveball. Glassburn set to deal. Swing and a miss. Ooh, you feel that breeze, Tom? Certainly did. One and one. Glassburn looks at second and delivers. Just inside, two and one. Backed him off the plate a little bit. Cole's probably cl throwing close to 80, a little past it. Time called by the hitter. Coach Simos asking Stevie to watch the runner a little bit. A 2 1, swing and a miss. Throw a hole in that bat, Tom, or what? I don't know, maybe. Cole's thrown two by Pesson. Hollison Been late. Hollison led by head coach Joe Santos. Time called once again. Now is this a mind game here with Pesson and Glassburn? Might be. Cole may step off the back of the rubber. And that pitch inside. Want a little head hunting there. That will fill up the count. Cole's going to throw his best pitch here. Wouldn't be surprised if he dropped down on the side. Is that the third time now? It is. Fire on second, two outs. And this is hit in the air over to left field. And it is going to be draw, uh, caught. And that will be the third out of the inning. So that was a little out of our sight line there, but Rankatori was able to make the catch. The umpire called the him out though, out. Tom. That's right. That's all that matters. Absolutely. So that is going to wrap up the top half of the fifth. To the bottom of the fifth we go. You're tuned in to Hiller's Baseball and HCAM. Bottom of the fifth inning, a new pitcher for the Halston Panthers. Louis Dennison on the mound, set to face Jack Breslin, Ben McKenzie, and Steven Simos, who are due up for the Hillers. I was watching Dennison warm up earlier. He's pretty much a sidearm pitcher for the most part. Dennison delivers down low. More like a submariner than the side armor. Knuckle scraper. One and oh the count on Breslin. There's a strike there. Warm-up activity in the Hallston bullpen. And this is up the right side. Glove by the second baseman. Throw to first. One away. Good hustle. Good hustle. That'll bring up Ben McKenzie, the shortstop. Owen Ward. 
Ward went five innings for Halston, giving up two hits, two runs. The strongest. Only, uh, one of those, actually, none of those runs were earned. Swing in and miss there by McKenzie. As strong as Ben is, I don't know with the wind today whether he's going to be able to get one out of here. I'll take a three bagger though. Upstairs. Dennis is not happy with that pitch. Way outside the strike zone. Fouled away. Saba's not happy with that selection. The swing. One and two the count. Where did Coach Vera go, Tom? Framingham? Not sure. And this is fouled away off the backstop. Count remains one and two on McKenzie, who's 0 for 2 so far today. Last season hit a 343, playing in 22 games. Had 70 at bats, scored 24 runs, and drove in 20. Two of the five tool players Hopkinson has. He can do everything. Hit with power, average, got great speed. Down low, two and two. Good arm, good defense. Pitch is low as well, that'll fill up the count. Collison continues to have warm up action. And this is up the left side, and that is going to get through, and McKenzie is aboard with a base hit. A I will base wager, hit. I will wager every single dollar in my pocket that he's gonna swipe a bag deal everything and if you and if uh, you're right I'll give you this uh, clicker I'll give you this drink <laughs> over here this sports okay. drink that I don't want to say the brand name of Mackenzie with the lead off of first he's taken off and the throw up to second is not in time a stolen base for Ben McKenzie well I don't have to fork over any dough. And you get a sports drink out of the deal. Thank you very much. If it was hot coffee, I'd like it better. So runner on second now with one out for the Hillers. Big opportunity here for Steven Simos. And runner taking off for third. Another swiped bag for McKenzie. And the ball did get by that. Jewett a little bit. But McKenzie was well off as Dennison was releasing the ball. I don't think Jewel would have had a shot. Watch uh, Ben get in the uh, sight line of Dennison here. He'll get way down. Sean Jewett does love his arm, though, so we'll see how far Ben gets down the line. Wind up and the pitch down low. Like to see Stevie clean one out here. Right center field is wide open. They're going to give him a free pass. But uh, I got a feeling Stevie's going to steal second base. So all might be for not for Holliston. So an intentional walk to Simo. So it'll bring up Tommy Ambrosoni. Runners on first and third, one out. What if Coach Simo's going to put a play on here? Have Stevie Steele and have Tommy Emersoni lay down a butt. That's down low. Briefly gets by Jewett, but he's able to pick it up. One and O oh to Ambersoni. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. Bob Hamilton on camera for the first Hillers baseball game of the season. 
First for Holliston as well. A two to one lead for the Hillers here in the bottom of the fifth. Line up and the pitch, there's a bunt. Slow roller and it is picked up, throw to first. Not in time, everybody's safe and a run scores. I think I called that. Did I not call that? I don't think so. I said he was gonna drop down a bunt, they're gonna have a play on. You might have, I just wasn't paying attention well, to you. Well, that's per usual. Ben McKenzie comes around to score. Steven Simos up to second. Amber Sony safely aboard at first base after a beauty of a bunt. Well, we'll let the viewers at home decide whether I called that play. Now Ronnie Sheamus will step in. Well, you we're talking about how Coach Simos wants to play small ball and he's certainly having some good success here. Well, he's got a terrific bunt there in Ambrosino. Ambrosoni, am I gonna screw that up all year? Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Looks like the lacrosse team might be waiting to get out here. They're going to have to wait quite a while. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Are they playing lacrosse down at the other field? There's a score of 25 to 5. I don't know what inning it is. It's a laser show at the girls' softball game. Who's winning? I don't know. That's the report I'm getting anyway. I'm assuming the Hillers. I think Holliston uh, is young this season. Swing and a miss, throw to third, and everybody's safe. A the double steal. The double steal was certainly on there. Tennyson is not happy. And if he can't find his release point with the way he throws, it might be a long afternoon. Body language on Dennison is not good right now. And they're going to bring the infield in. A one, two. Upstairs. <laughs> I think Coach Simo smells blood here. Gets a piece of this one over to center field. It's caught. Simos going to tag from third. The throw in is not in time, and another Hiller's run scores. Tommy Ambrosoni takes third base on the throw. That is a sacrifice RBI fly out for Sheamus. Ambrosoni is up to third. Two outs in the inning. Drew Rancatori will step in. A four to one lead for the Hillers. Strike one there. Looked a little outside to me, but. TA has good speed. Any ball that's boxed around by Sean Stewart, Tommy's gonna go. Down low. One and one. Tommy, a member of the Hopkinton Hiller basketball squad this year. It's a lot of fun to watch. Look at that lead he's got right in Tennyson's face. Up the right side, Ooh. foul. Watch out, young man. One and two on Rankatori. We got a good crowd over down on the right field line. Nice of them to come out. Fouled away. Good hustle, um. Count remains one and two. Two runs in for the Hillers in this inning. Line up and the pitch. 
And this is a slicer up the right side, picked up by the first baseman. He'll tag the bag for the third out, but the Hillers play two more runs, and it is four to one as we head to the top of the six on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizza. Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. That's where I'll be soon. Pitch is in there for a strike to Sean Jewett from Cole Glassburn out for his second inning of work. Four to one lead for the Hillers. That pitch down low, one and one. The girls are putting it on Holliston 25 to five. It's about to end pretty soon on a mercy. That's certainly a good sign. This is hit high in the air over to center field and caught by Amber Sony, one away. I'll bring up Dylan Ibbotson, the right fielder. Hillers have some warm up action. There's a strike. Pat Breton warming up on the bullpen. Coach Simos was going to use him today. The 4 1 lead, they're going to let the senior finish off, I think. Down low, one and one. Interesting, Cole's going from the stretch. There's a strike. Maybe that's a tell if he goes from the stretch, he's gonna drop down to the side. We'll have to see. <laughs> Time taken by the hitter. One and two. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit in the air up the right side and it is foul. Count remains one and two. Cole's got a little weird leg kick. Lifts his knee, then he points his leg over to third base sometimes when he drops down. A little herky jerky. It's a quick pitch. And there's strike three, two away. Quick pitch to Matt Tomaselli, the DH, do up. Adds that pitch to his repertoire. It's been a while since I've seen a quick pitch. Glassburn set to deliver. This is up the middle, past the reach of Glassburn, picked up by the second baseman. No problem for Simos. Four to three for out number three. We will head to the bottom of the sixth. The Hillers leading Hollison four to one on H Cam. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, I'm Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller volleyball team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're out my gal and we love H Cam. Hey, I want to be. Uh, camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Woo! We are set for the bottom of the sixth inning. Hiller is leading Holliston 4 to 1 in their season opener here at the nice turf fields of Hopkinton High School. Two up is Alex Barker Hook, the first baseman, set to step in and face a new pitcher for Holliston. Third pitcher of the day for the Holliston Panthers. And the name of that pitcher is, is that Thomas Selly. We saw him just a little bit over the summer. Log Two or three innings for post 77. Barker Hook was a scary, scary little league player. He was taller than everybody else by a mile. Strike. 
pitch a strike to Barker Hook. Louis Dennison went one inning, giving up two hits and two That's runs. As this is driven back to center field, past the reach. And that is going to be a multiple base hit there by Barker Hook as it was past the reach of Sam Farrell, stand up double. Well, Coach uh, Simos made pinch run for him because he is not fleet of foot. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. Matt Tomaselli moved over from DH to take over on the mound and so far the Hillers are liking it. Big hit there by Barker Hook and now pinch runner into the game for the Hillers. Barker Hook was really lumbering. And the pinch run is Bobby McGuire. Bobby McGuire could also be used as a catcher at some point. A pitch outside, McGuire back to second. Certainly a lot of speed and a threat to steal. His father's Jerry McGuire, isn't he? Oh, my my mistake. Tomaselli gets the sign from Sean Jewett. Does Jewett smell bunt? Wind up and the pitch, down low. So it may have a little equipment problem. Or. Connor Kelly 0 for 2 so far today. Runner on second for the Hillers, no outs in this bottom of the sixth. And it appears we have a stoppage here for Jewett, or are we gonna have a change for Holliston? Well, Jewett's not gonna go in and pitch. Maybe Sean got hurt. Perhaps the yeah. <laughs> we'll be broadcasting from field two on our new little perch that was just built for us this past weekend. We haven't come up with a name for it yet. If anybody has any ideas, you could uh, submit them on Facebook or Twitter to HCAM. Name our new perch over at field two. We have a stoppage here. I believe Jewett might have gotten hurt. So I think that's the reason for the stoppage. Gives us a chance to remind you, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They're a multifaceted store, dedicating to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Hopkinton Drug is located at 52 Main Street. HKM Sports also supported by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. A big thank you to Bill's Pizza for helping fund our new perch over at the Field 2. Connor Kelly due to step in face Matt Tomaselli, but right now Holliston, they're gearing up. So I want to take over as catcher, actually. have uh, somebody out there now just getting warmed up. What is that? Dylan Ibbotson, it looks like, moved over to catcher. So he came from right field to gear up to be the catcher. And then we'll get you... Uh, the name of the right fielder as soon as possible, but Dylan Ibbotson, the new catcher for the Holliston Panthers. 
will get warmed up a little bit behind home plate. Well, we don't know what kind of arm Ibbotson has, but he certainly is not the starting catcher. And we are ready to continue on. Connor Kelly steps back in, runner on second, no outs for the Hillers. And that's fouled away. My intrepid reporting says that Sean Zewitt may have got sick to his stomach. Ooh. Well, it's a turf field, so easy cleanup. Looks like John Pesson has moved over to right field. From second base. Pitch down low, three and one. And our Second baseman is Ben Fink. He moves over from third base. And we have uh, number two at third. Yep, that is uh, Danny Quinn. And a walk here to Connor Kelly. So position changes all around for Holliston as Kelly draws the walk. And now it's runners on first and second with no outs. Brian Kester will come to the plate. Cole Glassburn staying warm. He's going to close this game out. Tomaselli from the stretch. Where's the bunt? The, the ball thrown into center field, and that is going to allow the runners to advance, or at least the lead runner, Bobby McGuire, advancing to third. Connor Kelly stays put at first. If you don't have a good inside move, you might as well just hold on to the ball. So now it's first and third with no outs for the Hillers. Big opportunity here to add on some insurance. Nothing good can come from trying to pick somebody off a of second base. <laughs> Kester's got a chance to knock in a run. Inside and a stolen base as Connor Kelly advances to second. Coach Simos is in love with the delay steal. It's working today, that's for sure. Everything he's doing is working today. Got to congratulate his son, Timmy. Out of West Point, had his first home run. It's Up a ground the middle, ball. Glove by the shortstop, point. throw home, and not in time. The run scores. Bobby McGuire comes around to make it five to one Hillers. That's RBI hit there by Kester. As I was saying, uh, Coach Simos' son playing ball out at West Point at his first career home run all over Twitter. Jack Breslin, or actually looks like we're gonna have a different hitter here for the Hillers. Stepping in there. Looks like Robbie Pagliuca. Yeah, Bob Pagliuca. Fan favorite. He'll get a piece of this one over to left field and that gets down for a base hit. One run is in to score and the lead runner behind him heading to third. He's safe as the ball will end up over in the foul territory on the third base side. It's an RBI base hit for Bobby Pagliuca. One good thing I saw in that play was Tomaselli backing up third base. The rest of it, uh, not so good. Two men are now in scoring position with McKenzie up. Nice piece of hitting by Robbie Pagliuca. Certainly was. He's a fan favorite, he's my all-star. So it's first, or second and third now is Pagliuca did advance on the throw in. That's sliced foul. Holliston is playing in all the way around. Six to one lead for the Hillers here in the bottom of the sixth. With this fast turf, they could play back a little bit. Ben McKenzie one for three so far today. Did score a run last inning. Down low, one nice, and one. Uh, nice take.
Still no outs in the inning for the Hillers as they continue to rally. That is low. Nice block by the catcher. Well, you wonder if they maybe should have left Owen Ward out there another inning. Yeah, we can second guess all afternoon, but it's all up to Tomaselli right now. McKenzie gets a piece of this one, hits it high in the air. That is going to land in fair territory. Long left center, an awkward play, but the catch is made by Farrell. Nice play, that ball was hit way up in the air and it's getting knocked down by the wind. Runners stay put at second and third, one away. Steven Simos will step in. Ben's been snake bit today. Lefty awaits the pitch. Thomas Ellie from the stretch. I'm surprised they're not intentionally walking Stevie. Upstairs. Get the force going. They've walked him twice. Not sure about this, letting Stevie Simon sit. That's why. We'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It is caught. Runner from third is going to tag and easily score. It's a 7-1 to one lead for the Hillers. A sacrifice fly out for Simos and a run batted in. 7-1 to one Hopkinton. Bobby Pagliuca remains at second. Tommy Ambersoni do up next. Did you know Stevie Simos and Ben McKenzie are not going to room together at Bowdoin this year? Or next year? Bet you didn't know that. That's a fun fact for you. I did not. They'll see plenty of each other. It's only 2,000 students up there. Robbie Pagliuca on second base is not blessed with a lot of speed, so he'll be hanging around the bag. Inside, 2 and 0. Oh. Robbie Pag sporting the uh, high sock. I went upstairs, 3 0 oh now. Seven to one, Hillers lead. Two outs in the inning. And Ambersoni draws the walk. Actually, I apologize. That wasn't a Ambersoni. That was, or was, excuse me. Had the wrong number written down there. All right, so Ambersoni does draw the, the walk. It's the first game of the year. It's the first game of the year, Tom. You're all right. And that'll bring up Ronnie Sheamus. They'll clean it better. Inside. Halston coach has got his arms crossed, just pacing back and forth. He's not too happy right now. Don't worry, Matt, he's not stealing. Gets a piece of this one up the left side, gloved by the shortstop, and he'll overthrow the second baseman. Everybody's going to be safe, and Bobby Pagliuca is going to come around to easily score. Eight to one, Hillers. An error there, and the insurance runs continue for Hopkinton. Well, there's certain unwritten rules in baseball. You don't run up the score when you have your opponent down. So Tommy. Ambersoni could have taken third base easily, but he just stopped there at second base. Drew Rankatori takes a strike, 0 oh and 1. Hillers have batted around in this bottom we of the We got company. Six. We got the Hoppington Hillers girls softball team cruising down to watch their other half play. Outside, one and one. Congratulations. Oops. 
Get some littering going on in the field here. That's fouled away, one and two. Heads up to the softball team. They won't even go on a pass Paul. They're gonna stay right where they are. Ball's in the dirt. Two and two. All the life has been sucked out of the Hollis and Panthers. Where's their bus? Is it ready to go? Full count now. Full count on Rankatori. Well, the runners will be off here. 3-2. Fouled away. Rankatori last summer showed some good power in stretches. Now Hollison isn't even holding the runners on, they know. Up the middle, and it's bobbled by the first baseman. Everybody's going to be safe, and another Hiller's run comes around to score. Tommy Ambrosoni comes around. Rankatori reaches on the air by the third baseman. Ronnie Sheamus up to second, and it's 9-1 to one Hillers. Due up now is Alex Barker-Hook. He hit the ball hard his last time up. We have a spectator on the field now. We're trying to get him off. Here's a foul tip. 0-1. When one of our lineups blown in somebody's face. Yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought that was a spectator running on the field. <laughs> well, quite an impressive start for the Hillers today. That's what they needed. That's what they wanted. They wanted to compete every at bat. It's been a five run inning here in this bottom of the sixth. There's a strike, one and two. Set to deliver, there's knew strike it. three, and that'll wrap up the bottom of the six, but the Hillers Add five runs, and as we head to the top of the seventh, it's Hopkinton leading Holliston nine to one on H Cam. Top of the seventh inning, the Hiller is leading Holliston nine to one. A five-run bottom of the sixth, and some nice insurance runs came around for the Hillers. Stepping in for Holliston is Owen Radcliffe, the first baseman. Cole Glassburn out there to try to close it out. That's fouled away. And there it goes towards Larry's car, 0-1. Oh, my. Well, the Hillers certainly opened the can last inning, and all the runs came out. Line up and the pitch. Outside, 1-1. One one. Now, with an eight-run lead, this will frustrate Coach Simos if uh, Cole does his thing. Just throw strikes and get the game over with. The 1-1, one, one. down low. Rumor had it, his nickname was Twinkle Toes. I don't know where that came from, but maybe I can find out after the game. Top of 
Time called by the hitter. The 2 1. There's a strike. Oh, he admired that pitch. It was a beauty. Right down Broadway. The 2-2. Two -two. Oh, Cole. That's what's going to drive Coach Simos nuts. Full count pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number one. Made up for that last pitch with that one. I don't know whether Cole was trying to throw a knuckleball on that pitch. Stepping in now is Ben Fink. There's a strike. That was a 56-foot uh, something or other. <laughs> He's got enough pop. There's a quick pitch for a strike. And was that a ball? I think it was a ball, Larry. Oh, okay. It was a quick pitch for a ball. He likes to show his entire repertoire. That one up high. Glassburn set to deliver. Down low. So that pitch, that quick pitch was a strike. Indeed it was, full count. He's got good enough stuff to just throw, a, throw his heat. Sliced foul. Defensive swing. Wind up and the pitch. And that's tapped foul. Fink stays alive. He's lucky to still be standing there. Just a little bit of little bit of that horse hide. Up the middle, and it's picked up by Glasper and throw to first. Not a problem. Hot one dog. to three for the second out. Put a little mustard on that one, Cole. Two away, and Kevin Balowitz will step in. The Hillers one out away from winning their first game of the season. Well, Brendan Kelly had a good start today, did his job, turned it over to Cole Glassburn. Swing and a miss. Completely overmatched on that pitch. Strike two. Just a touch late. I'm reading Glassburn's mind right now. Cole Glassburn will, would be credited with the save. He's gonna just throw it through the, jeez. Oh, Tapped foul, count remains 0-2. He just threw his first two pitches right by him and he had to drop down to try and get him out. Set to deliver, leg lift and the pitch. And this is up the left side. That's going to get through for a base hit. Pass a good dive from Ryan Kester. And it's a two out single for Balowitz. That'll bring up Matt Arvinitis. So one on, two outs for Holliston.
First baseman's going to play behind the runner. Concede second base. Sliced foul. 0 oh and 1. Miller's baseball has a Saturday game, 1 p.m. against Barnstable right here at the turf. Come join us. Yeah, that'll be our next Tillers baseball broadcast. They're bringing up lobsters and quahogs and all sorts of seafood, aren't they? I thought you were. Oh, sorry. The 1-1. Hit in the air over to center field. Ranging over to make the catch is Tommy Ambrosoni and the Hopkinton Hillers win their first game of the season as they take down the Holliston Panthers by a final score of 9-1. to one. A great pitching effort between Brendan Kelly and Cole Glassburn. And a five-run bottom of the six helps propel the Hillers over the Holliston Panthers in game number one of the season. The Hillers score nine runs on seven hits, committing one error. Holliston, one run on three hits, committing four errors. A great effort by Hopkinton to start off the 2019 high school sports season. For Bob Hamilton on camera, my broadcast partner Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Baseball on HCAM. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers defeat the Holliston Panthers 9-1. to The Hillers 1-0 on the season. Holliston falls to 0-1. Thanks again for watching Hillers Baseball on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.